hello guys welcome to civil concept and in this video i will show you how to calculate the quantity of cement sand and aggregate in a dog legged staircase okay so uh, first of all we will calculate the total quantity of concrete and after that we will calculate the total cement sand and aggregate for that concrete okay so our question is calculate the quantity of cement sand and aggregate for given uh, of stair given in figure 4 and 20 grade of concrete okay so here we have two information first of all is our in uh, figure which are given and all the dimension of this uh 2d plan of this uh, staircase is given like the riser trade and landing uh, the thickness of a waste slab all uh, information has been given to calculate the total volume okay and we have to calculate for m20 grade of concrete and i will show you later what will be the mix ratio of m20 grade of concrete okay so let's start our video to calculate the total volume of concrete we have to calculate the volume of steps volume of waste slab and volume of landing okay so we have to calculate the volume of steps in number one okay number two we have to calculate the volume of waste slab and after that we have to calculate volume of landing to get the total volume of the steer okay so here i have created a 3d model for you so you can see here this is the 3d model of the steer and their component okay so what are the waste slab what are the steps and what are the landing i will tell you in this figure okay in this video so you can see this is known as landing okay so this part is known as landing of the stair after that this these are known as what steps okay and this vertical part is known as riser okay so this is known as riser and this horizontal part is known as what trade okay so the combination of riser and trade make what steps okay so we have to calculate the volume of all the steps after that we have to calculate the volume of this landing after that we will calculate the volume of this waste slab okay so this is known as waste slab this thickness uh, of the slab is known as what this is known as waste slab okay so one by one we will calculate the total volume of this steps slab and this landing okay so let's move toward our calculation here in number one we will calculate the volume of steps okay so v1 will be riser into trade into width of the steer this is a formula okay so you can see in this figure this is the riser and this is the trade okay so the riser is 150 mm and trade is 250 mm okay so you can see in the figure this is our steps okay and it has gone through this width okay so this is number uh, this is our steps okay so this will act as a uh, prism okay so the formula for prism will be what half into riser into trade half into this riser this into this trade and after that we have to multiply it with width of the steer this is our width of the steer okay so uh, when we apply when we put all this value riser into trade into width of the steer we will get the total volume of one steps okay guys so this is volume of single steps okay because we have multiplied only riser into uh, trade into its width okay now we have calculated the volume of steps okay now we will calculate the volume of waste slab okay okay in number two calculate the volume of waste slab okay so what is waste slab i have told you already in 3d model that this the slab uh, below this steps is known as what waste slab okay so here we have volume of waste slab is equals to length into width into thickness okay so if this is our waste slab then we have to multiply its length width and its thickness okay so first of all we will calculate the length okay so length will be what this is our length of the slab so how will we calculate the length by using this formula h square plus l square but what is h and l okay so h is the height okay so this is the height of the steer and after that l is the uh, this uh, horizontal distance of the steer okay so this is i am talking about single flight okay uh, i am calculating only the volume of this uh, uh, steps and waste slab and landing for single flight only okay so putting all the value you can see here this height is how much 2 meter and uh, this length is how much 3 meter and after putting all the value we will get root under 13 and after calculating we will get how much 3.6 meter okay so we have got the length of this slab okay now what we will do volume is equals to l into b into h okay so this is the formula for volume 
of the cubical shape object okay so which slab is in our cubical shape so l into b into h and we have calculated the length and we will calculate uh, we will put here the width and height of the slab okay so putting uh, value of uh, length length is 3.6 and the width of the waist slab is how much one meter okay because the width of the stair is how much one okay now the thickness of slab is given in this 2d plan that the thickness of waist slab is 125 mm okay so you can see here i have put here 0 0.125 and after calculating all this value we will get how much 0 0.45 meter cube this is the volume of one waste slab okay guys so this is the volume of one waste slab and this part is remaining i will tell you later okay so we have calculated the volume of one steps and after that we have calculated the volume of one waste slab now it's time to calculate the volume of this landing okay so let's move forward okay in number three we will calculate the volume of landing okay so v3 will be our length into width into height and again we will calculate the same uh, as a waist slab okay so here you can see the uh, length of landing is 3 meter width is 1 meter and height is how much 125 mm okay so if we convert this mm into meter then we will get 0 0.125 meter okay and after that we will calculate multiply this length width and height and we will get 0 0.375 meter cube as a volume of this landing okay so this is our uh, volume of the landing okay now let us see in the 3d model you can see this is our landing and uh, the length of landing is this okay this which is 3 meter and this is our 1 meter okay and this one is our thickness of the landing and when we multiply this length width and height then we will get the total volume of this landing okay so let us move toward our step number four okay in step number four we will calculate the total volume of concrete in the steer okay so we have calculated the volume of steps waste slab and landing and after uh, we will add all this volume to get the total volume of the steer okay so total v volume v is equals to v1 into 18 and why we have multiply here 18 because there are 18 steps okay you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on and we have total number of steps is 18 and it depends on your stairs stairs case design and uh, uh, it may be different according to your stairs okay so here i have 18 uh, number of steps so we have multiplied that the uh, volume of steps into 18 and that we have a uh, two number of waste you can see here one waste slab is here and another waste slab is here okay so we have two number of waste slab and we have calculated only the volume of single waste and we have to multiply it with two to get the total volume of this waste slab and this waste slab as well okay so uh, after that we have to add that volume of landing there are only one landing so we don't have to multiply it with any number so after multiplying and putting all this value we have calculated the volume of steps volume of waste and landing we will get how much 1.5 meter cube okay but guys this is the weight volume okay so you have to remember that we have to always convert it into dry volume to convert into dry volume we have to multiply it with uh, the constant value which is 1.54 to 1.57 okay 1.54 to 1.57 and this is the formula to calculate the dry volume from the weight volume okay because we have to add 54 percent to 57 percent extra in the weight volume to calculate the dry volume okay so just multiply it with 1.54 and we will get how much 2.39 meter cube as the dry volume of the concrete okay so guys we have calculated the total volume of this concrete for this uh, dog leg stair now we will calculate the cement sand and aggregate from this concrete okay okay we have dry volume of concrete is 2.39 meter cube so we have calculate uh, we have to calculate cement sand and aggregate for m20 grade of concrete as we have already given in the question that we have to calculate the cement sand and aggregate for m20 grade of concrete okay so first of all uh, let us see what are different grade of concrete you can see i have created a table for different grade of concrete and these are the mix ratio guys okay so the quantity of cement sand and aggregate will uh, depend on the different grade of concrete because they have different mix ratios according to the grade of concrete okay so you can see here uh, for m5 grade of concrete we have mix ratio 1 is to 5 is to 10 
4 m 7.5 uh, it is 1.4 1 is to 4 is to 8 4 m 10 grade of concrete we have For M10 grade of concrete, we have 1 is to 3 is to 6. For M15 grade of concrete, we have 1 is to 2 is to 4. For M20 grade of concrete, 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. And M25 grade of concrete, 1 is to 1 is to 2. These are the mixed ratios, guys. Okay. So what is uh, what does it mean? So M represents the mixed ratios and 5 represents represent the compressive strength of the concrete after 25 days with proper curing okay and mixed ratios are 1 is to 5 is to 10 okay so uh, what does it means that if we add one part of cement then we have to add five parts of sand and 10 part of aggregate okay so these are same uh, as shown in the mixed ratio okay so we have to take here m20 grade of concrete so we have to take one part of cement 1.5 parts of sand and three part of aggregate for m20 grade of concrete okay now we will calculate the cement sand and aggregate for m20 grade of concrete okay okay we have dry volume 2.39 meter cube and m20 grade of concrete whose ratios are 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 and i have already uh, told you that one part of cement 1.5 parts of sand and three part of aggregate okay so first of all we will get a sum of this ratio if we are taking the m15 grade of concrete then we have to take the sum of m15 grade of uh, mixed ratios okay like 1 is to 2 is to 4 okay so here we have 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 and total sum will be 5.5 okay now we will calculate the volume of cement okay so vc will be what cement part divided by sum into dry volume this is a formula guys uh, you have to remember this this is a formula that uh, volume of cement will be cement part divided by sum into dry volume so cement part is how much one and uh, we have uh, taken the sum 5.5 and dry volume we have calculated 2.39 uh, and after calculating we will get how much 0 0.43 meter cube okay now if we want to calculate the weight of cement then just we have to multiply this volume into density okay so density of cement is 1440 and here we have to provide the volume okay so this is wrong okay so 1.52 here will be this volume 0 0.43 okay so if we multiply this 0 0.43 then we will get how much 627.2 kg of cement okay so in market we will get the cement in bags okay so we have to convert it into bags so if we divide this kg of cement with 50 because one bag of cement contains 50 kg of cement and after dividing it we will get how much 12.5 bags of cement okay so we have calculated the volume and the total bags of cement which is 12.5 now we will calculate the volume of sand and aggregate okay now we will calculate the volume of sand and we will apply the same formula vc1 is equals to sand part divided by sum and we have to multiply it with dry volume okay so uh, just we have to change this cement part to the sand part to calculate the volume of sand and after putting all this value that sand part is 1.5 and sum is 5.5 and dry volume is 2.39 and after putting all the value and calculating we will get 0 0.65 meter cube as the volume of sand okay now we will calculate the volume of aggregate and the formula will be same vc2 will be what aggregate part which is our 3 and uh, divided by sum which is our 5.5 and uh, multiply it by dry volume and we will get what 1.3 meter cube okay guys so we have calculated all the cement sand and aggregate for required concrete okay now let us see the summary okay so we will require 12.5 bags of cement 0 0.65 uh, meter cube of sand and 1.3 meter cube of aggregate for uh, 2.39 meter cube of dry volume of concrete okay and this is for m20 grade of concrete and this ratio will be changed this quantity will be changed for different grade of concrete okay guys so this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering in next video i will show you how to calculate the quantity of cement sand and aggregate for column slab and beam